we're staring at right now when it comes to ammo is a massive shortage. Specifically, prices skyrocketing on ammo and gunpowder specifically. So if you're reloading, gunpowder is way more expensive right now. So I want to take a moment and kind of talk about, well, why is this happening? And I want to put aside the obvious, which is the massive amount of ammo that's going to Ukraine and the massive amount of ammo that's going to Israel. And those are all coming from the stockpiles of the U.S. military reserves, as well as private ammo manufacturers around this country are working 24-7 producing mostly government ammo. Now, this is something we all know. But why exactly is ammo going so high up specifically as well as gunpowder? And a lot of it comes down to the raw material. And we've been talking about this for quite a while, but I wanna address the specifics. What is the raw material that's causing the prices to go up? Um, because it's not just supply and demand. It is, but it isn't. It's also the raw material specifically. Now, in primers, the raw material that's causing the problem and has for a long time is the lead stiphonate in the primer. This is what's causing the ignition in that primer. And it's becoming increasingly rare because it's not just small arms ammo that uses that lead stiphonate. It's also the larger ammunitions and larger munitions that are using it as well. So, and they use more of it. So that's the problem with the primers. Um, and we've seen primer, you know, if you can even find primers, it's almost foolish to even talk about it because they're so hard to find. It almost doesn't matter how much they cost at this point. But it's the gunpowder as well. The gunpowder is the piece that, that, that is new. And what is it about the gunpowder? Well, it, as far as a raw material, it's the igniter in the gunpowder. It's the nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose component of the gunpowder is becoming increasingly rare uh, as we continue to pump ammo into these other countries and take away from our U.S. military supplies and away from our civilian ammo. And, and I say civilian ammo because when the civilian ammo manufacturers are working around the clock making government ammo, they are not working making civilian ammo. So it is taking away from the civilian ammo. Those are the big ones. It's the lead stiphonate and the primer and the nitrocellulose and the gunpowder that is causing this massive uh, price increase specifically in ammo and gunpowder. Now, a lot of these components are used in other things too, so you're gonna see a lot of other things around the country going up in price, uh, but these are the ones I'm really worried about is the ammo, uh, because it, it's already getting, like, it was already bad enough. You know, now it's just worse. So um, any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put that below. I just wanna kinda of make you aware, you know, we throw the word raw material around quite a bit. I just wanna hit the specifics on why we're seeing ammo and gunpowder go up, aside from the massive pumping away of our, of our reserves to these foreign countries, aside from that, <laughs> uh, there's such a demand in, in production of ammo around the world, and this is how they make it. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight? Again, put that below.